Hey, Thomas from Field Tennis. Today I want to show you a way of how you can feel the topspin. So you need a partner or your coach can help you feel because uh, obviously I cannot help you feel something through the video but I can show an exercise where a coach or a friend can demonstrate to you or actually convey the feeling of topspin, what the ball should feel and how you can change the ratio between hitting the ball more flat or with more topspin. So enjoy the lesson and I'll see you next time. I was telling you about topspin, right? So topspin, I'm saying it's it's a it's a matter of ratios, right? I'm talking about the ratio between hitting and, and spinning, right? Yeah. So it, sometimes it sounds very uh, theoretical, right? So I show like this. Look, if I hit you here, I'll hit you. So I can hit you like this or like this. You see, or like this. I can hit you like this. See, there's a lot of ratio forward, very little. Uh, very little upwards, right? So this, and then this. You see, this may be 50-50, right? Mm -hmm. You that you feel, right? So because the ball will feel like this, that's what you want to do to the ball. Or you go like this. You understand? Yeah. So that's why I talk. I say that top spin requires a lot of precision. You see, because I have to hit you, not you, but normally the ball. I have to be very precisely because, let's say, I'm inside the court and I want to hit a short top spin, right? So I need very little, very little hitting because otherwise the ball will go too long. So I need to hit it very precisely, right? If I hit the ball like this and I'm inside the court, it'll go long. So I need to vary the ratio between hitting and brushing or, or grazing, I don't know what's the right word. I don't like brushing too much because uh, maybe for beginners, right, we teach brushing. So I think brushing is imagined like this. Yeah, it's brushing, right? So if players just have this picture in the mind, okay, for a complete beginner, I also teach them to lower roll, right? Roll against the wall or against the racket. That they have some idea, but if players, I show if players just have this idea of brushing, then all the time they spin like this. They're doing like this, right? But higher, faster level spin is not be, it's not that I do something, so I don't, so I don't brush. I just, you see? Yeah. So what's the English word for that? I'm not sure. <laughs> Grazing, maybe. Like we hear sometimes in the movies, the bullet just grazed me, right? Maybe, yeah. yeah. So I think, I think it's kind of grazed, huh? I, I'm not brushing, it takes too long. Brushing takes too long. I'm just, you see? So when I'm hitting the ball, I am not brushing it. I just, Murphy's Law always goes in the net. <laughs> but I am just grazing it, I just, So that's why I talk about precision. We require precision, right? It has to be, the, the ball must be hit very precisely. Right? And then you say, well, how do we develop this precision? I say with mini tennis drills. Because mini tennis will punish you very quickly for hitting too much. Mm -hmm. If you play from baseline, it's very big, you have big margin of error. So uh, you hit, the ball goes in, you think it's okay. Right? Well, not at higher level or higher speed, it's not okay. So when you play mini tennis, as soon as you're imprecise, you hit the ball a bit too much, long. So you see very quickly. So, so mini tennis, cross court, top spin, game, stuff like that is, is uh, that's what we use to develop this kind of precision of hitting the ball.